Let's now briefly address a last controversial category of armed conflicts. Those involving purely criminal organizations, mafia groups, or territorial gangs. Prominent examples of such entities include Colombian cartels, the Sicilian mafia, or Mexican drug trafficking organizations. Such groups are often involved in fighting against other organizations' groups or against state armed forces. Can we qualify those hostilities as non-international armed conflicts? In other words, can we consider that such criminal organizations, groups or gangs are belligerents for the purpose of IHL? According to the traditional criteria that have been examined in a previous video, we should first determine whether these criminal groups are armed and organized in such a way that they can respect the minimum IHL provisions governing non-international armed conflicts and launched and sustained military operations. If that is the case, such organizations, groups or gangs should in principle be considered as potential belligerents in these conflicts. Moreover, if they have acquired some sort of territorial control as required by Article 1 of Additional Protocol 2 and are fighting against state armed forces, these organizations, groups or gangs can be involved in high-intensity non-international armed conflicts. Of course, as required in all non-international armed conflicts, hostilities must also be of a certain intensity. It is true that the vagueness of this criterion allows for flexible interpretation, and so it is easily met. We should not, however, forget that the application of IHL rules entails important consequences. For instance, state armed forces will be able to target members of criminal organizations, gangs or groups as fighters directly participating in the hostilities or to employ administrative detention in accordance with IHL rules. This may reinforce the atmosphere of hostilities and, in turn, exacerbate violence. Nevertheless, according to the traditional theory governing the qualification of armed conflict, there is no reason to treat differently criminal organizations, gangs or mafia groups from other types of armed groups that are fighting in non-international armed conflicts. That said, some scholars consider that these organizations, groups or gangs cannot be equated to traditional armed groups that are fighting in low or high intensity non-international armed conflicts. Indeed, according to them, they do not share the same motives as traditional belligerents while organized crimes and territorial gangs are usually pursuing a criminal intention, such as trafficking drugs, weapons or people, traditional armed groups are driven by ideological or political purposes. In consequence, purely criminal organizations, such as mafia groups or territorial gangs, could never be considered as parties to a non-international armed conflict. It should, however, be emphasized that these conditions based on the motive of belligerence does not exist in IHL. The ICTY has made it clear in this regard that the determination of the existence of an armed conflict is based solely on two criteria, the intensity of the conflict and the organizations of the parties. The purpose of the armed forces to engage in acts of violence or also achieve some further objective is therefore irrelevant. Moreover, the motive of armed groups is by definition a subjective element that is rarely uniform. It cannot easily be identified in practice. Many criminal organizations, groups or gangs conduct criminal activities while at the same time pursuing a political objective.